August 15th, the church celebrates the solemnity of Mary assumed into heaven in body and soul. This was a dogmatic proclamation by Pope Pius XII in the year 1950, November 1st. A week after the Assumption of Mary into heaven, the church celebrates another Marian feast. And it is the feast day of the Queenship of Mary. Among the many titles that the church gives to Mary, one of the most glorious is that Mary is Queen. It is certain that, that a king, when he speaks, he commands. But also when a queen she be, speaks, she also commands. If an angel were to come to visit you today sometime, most likely you would fall to your knees in reverence toward that angel that would come to visit you. Rightly so. Because if, if the Archangel Gabriel came to visit you, he would be much more, he would be superior to you in his essence. An angel has a much more keen intellect than we have, as well, as well as a more powerful will. What would happen if an angel appeared to Mary? The angel would, in reverence and deference to Mary, he would bow to her. Because Mary is the queen of angels the Queen of Saints, the Queen of Virgins, the Queen of Martyrs. She's the Queen of Confessors. We should have a great love for Jesus Christ. He's our Lord, He's our God, He's our Savior. He's our best friend. However, one way in which we can draw close to Christ, the King of the Universe, is by drawing close to Mary, the Queen of the Universe. St. Louis de Montfort wrote the Marian classic, True Devotion to Mary, teaching us a way to consecrate herself to Jesus through Mary, gives us a beautiful title for Mary. Mary is this. Mary is the Queen of all hearts. So why don't you pray off in this beautiful prayer? Is the Hail Holy Queen. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope.